Right, here's a quick Aim Solo 2 tip for those of you who want to be able to use the entire day's worth of sessions to inform the predictive reference or the predictive lap time. So what you're going to do is you're going to click any of the silver buttons and you're going to hit menu. Then what you're going to do is you are going to leave it on type of racing and you're going to hit enter. So right now it should be on speed and close and this is the setting we have if we're at the racetrack. And we're going to click on next twice until we go down to predictive reference. Right now it's on the best lap of the test, so it's only going to find the best lap time from the actual session that you're on while you're out. But if you want to change that to the day, what you can do here is you can click on change and change that to the best lap of today. So for example, if you're chasing a lap time or a series of lap times that you've done over a number of sessions, this will allow you to be able to inform the predictive timer to be able to look at the best sessions over the day versus necessarily just the test.